this is the story of the worst day of my life. Next up, into the top 10 of the year so far, we have Guns Akimbo, which is directed by Jason Lee Hooden, who at one point before this movie was released was shaping himself up to become the next Josh Trank slash Ryan Johnson in terms of directors that turn into Twitter trolls. The basic premise for this movie is that in a world that is controlled by this underground fight movement called Schism, which basically creates this kind of like underground fight club across the city that like everybody on the internet comments on, Daniel Radcliffe is this one lone programmer who of course wishes for a better life and one day enters the wrong comment into the wrong chat section and ends up being attacked by Schism, has two guns literally nailed into his hands and is forced to participate against the player against the game's top competitor portrayed by Samara Weaving. And what I will say is that this movie is an absolute blast. It wears its influences on its sleeves. It is very, very much trying to do a kick-ass meets Scott Pilgrim kind of a tone, like right down to the cinematography and the types of visuals that it uses. But it's an absolute blast. The Every actor in this movie, with the exception of really of Samara Weaving, knows exactly what they're in for. And it is all anchored because, let me tell you something, my boy, Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter himself, has proven not only that he is an absolutely incredible actor outside and has a lot of range outside of obviously the role that made him iconic, but also just the fact that this guy will literally do whatever the hell he wants, no matter how batshit insane it sounds, and prove that he is really fucking good at it. And in terms of this movie flexing his comedic chops, he proves that he is really fucking funny. Sir, please come on, please get out, thank you. All of his reactions are right on point. You, he does exactly what any of us would kind of do but he also kind of emulates that kind of person who grew up and is kind of fully immersed in this completely internet slash comments driven world it's not the smartest satire when it comes to that sort of subject matter but it, it does but this movie does everything that it needs to do and it's a really really fun time uh, 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 did i win